In the last segment we did, we opened the vice frame to the second position so we could lubricate the inside and clean the inside. We still have the vice frame open because now we're going to clean the vice jaws and inspect those to see if there's any uh, metal adhering to them or if there's any bad spots on the jaws themselves. Okay, so what we're looking for is metal adhering to your vice jaws here, wear in this area. We're looking for rounding of the jaws on both sides, but and particularly on this edge over here where the jaws physically hit the mats and push the mats together because that's where you'll be getting hairlines if that happens. So what I'm using today is a product called Dixon's Mole Polish. This is an old product that came out a long time ago for linotypes. And I've got just a little short block of reglet. I'm gonna get a little bit of this on my reglet. And then what I wanna do is polish the jaws. You can do it in a circular motion, you can do it in a straight motion, just whatever suits your fancy, but you wanna keep these jaws clean. And this is the easiest way to do it with everything laid out. So we wanna clean it. And that takes all of the black off and gives you a nice shiny clean surface. You also want to do that to the outside or the inside edges of your jaws. You don't want to rock over this edge. You want to keep these edges as sharp as you can keep them so that you don't get little fins coming up when you cast a slug because it'll actually any place there's a little opening metal will squirt up into. So we want to Get a little bit more. And then on this jaw, we want to hold this block as square as we can hold it and polish up and down to, to get any metal that's adhered to that. Now, if there's a lot of metal on there and you haven't cleaned them in a long while, which is shame on you, you can take a razor blade and hold it flat and kind of knock the biggest part of it off and get the biggest chunks or slide it across and uh, get the most off. And then you can finish up using your mold polish. We're also gonna do this jaw over here. And you wanna do the whole length of the jaw. You don't wanna do just the edges of the jaws. and wipe it off because you don't want to get this up into your mats when the next time you cast. Now on this end over here, there's a button that activates your safeties. So when you're cleaning it, you want to kind of hold it on the edge as, cl as close as you can get it and it's straight and flat. But you're pushing that button in, so you might have to put a little more pressure on this one to hold it in as you're cleaning. And then again, wipe everything off. Easiest way to inspect it is hold your thumb or something, a white piece of paper, something down there that will reflect the light so that you can actually see the jaw. And that looks pretty shiny. That one's clean. Now on this jaw, we see a little wear starting to happen out here. Uh, it's not hurting it. We're still getting a good clean slug, but this is from sliding back and forth on your moles. You get little grooves in here. And right now these jaws, we've cast slugs and the slugs look real good. So we're okay. Now, the other part of that is up here on your moles themselves. You can take and clean the front of your molds. Again, holding it square and flat. You wanna polish the front. This is the section that actually hits on your jaw, so you want them both to be clean. Do all four of them, or three or six, whatever you have on your machine. And 
and the main portion you're cleaning is right around your slides. You don't have to worry about all of this. That can be cleaned at another time, but this is the main portion you want to clean. And then wipe it off the best you can. Now this mold polish is also good if you have a mold that's sticking and your slug is hard to come out. You can get a long, thinner regular or popsicle stick, whatever will fit, put a little on it and actually go inside your slot and clean the bottom and the top of your mold on the inside. That's just a quick fix. The best way to remedy that is to take your mold off and polish it completely where you can make sure everything's off. It's good and shiny, it's good and clean. You can also clean your liners at the same time uh, and make sure they're right uh, and then put everything back together. But these are the main things that you can clean just quickly just to get you back going uh, and running if you have a job you gotta get out. Now that we're finished oiling everything, cleaning everything. We cleaned our vice jaws, we got all that done. Now we can close the machine back up. And what you wanna do is lift it up. You don't have to worry about the lock pin down there. And when you get past that, now it's stopping in the proper place again because your pin has gone back in. But then you wanna close it on up and since we stopped it right here, we want to finish the cycle to get it back into normal position. So what we can do is I just hold a no cast right here and I pull my clutch out and I let the machine finish the cycle on its own. And now we're back in home position and we're ready to start with our project.